Now, the subject of color in Photoshop is a bit like the subject of engines is to a NASCAR driver. It's a huge subject that has many dimensions to it, and understanding how it all fits together is essential if you're going to become proficient in Photoshop. In a nutshell, we'll learn proper camera settings, monitor calibration, printer profiles, working color spaces, bit depth, and changing color spaces to suit the end use of the image. Then we'll connect all the dots and show how it all works together and the proper sequence one must follow to get the best possible quality from your post work, no matter if your final use is the internet, printing, or whatever. Now understanding how color works in your computer and within Photoshop is absolutely essential. You are well advised to pay particular attention to this section if you want to ensure your images look the way you intended when outputting to your intended use. However, I can strongly suggest a starting point in your effort to get the color right. Make sure your color space setting in your camera is set to the Adobe RGB color space. Now You'll understand why as you follow the different lessons in this section. But for now, just take my word for it. Set your camera's color space to Adobe RGB. Go ahead, do it now. We'll wait to start the next movie until you get this done.